Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install custom maps in Minecraft 1.16.3. We'll be going over every single step of getting custom maps installed from how to download them, where to find some cool custom maps, and to getting them in game and even what to do if a custom map isn't compatible with the most recent version, but it's still most likely going to work. For example, if it's 1.16.2 or 1.16 compatible, really 1.16 and higher, it's going to be perfectly okay to use it in 1.16.3. Not much change between those versions, at least when it comes to maps and, you know, the different things that you'll see custom maps such as command blocks and things like that so that is what you can look for there however we're gonna be talking about all that in this video first and foremost though what if you want to play a custom map with your friends well apex minecraft hosting is the best way to do that it's super super easy to set a server up over there and then very very easy to add a custom map to it plus they have 24 hours seven day a week support to help you do that if you do have any issues getting your custom map in your server and then once you do get it on your server again very simple to do that you just send the ip address to your friends you join the ip address yourself you don't have to worry about hosting ddos protection anything like that your hardware can be anything it needs to be as long as you can play minecraft you can play on an apex minecraft server we actually love apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to start your very own minecraft server with a custom app or without one doesn't matter if you want to start your own minecraft server no matter what you can check out apex minecraft hosting they're at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex but nevertheless you're here to get a custom app i'm assuming in single player so let's go ahead and do that the first thing you want to do is find a custom app now if you've got one awesome you can skip forward a little bit in the video but for those of you out there that don't or if you just want to know how to find some cool custom apps there's a link in the description down below and this will take you here to our list of 15 custom maps for minecraft 1.16 now some of these are for snapshots and different things like that but we have like tested all these in game and they are all working even if you do have to convert them forward so for example we have bastion's parkour here hidden rooms we're going to grab that one and then we're also going to uh grab this one which i think is kind of interesting it's 2d parkour it uses a villager it's actually really really cool so you can go get that one as well you can install any of these that you want and they will all work but we're just going to install two no reason to go kind of over the top here hidden rooms is well uh, you guessed it like a hidden rooms sort of a map it's a puzzle map you got to figure out different things and kind of you know work out things there and all that stuff but here it is and once you're here you can just click on download minecraft map and it will download in the bottom left then 2D parkour with a twist. Again, you can scroll down. This is a parkour map that actually has 2D with you uh, controlling a villager. It's actually one of the cooler custom maps I've ever seen and uh, very well done by this map creator. But once you're here, go ahead and click on download Minecraft map and that will download in the bottom left. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and here on our desktop, we do have the hidden rooms and 2D parkour maps that we downloaded. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. Get in the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon to the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. And then have this downloads file folder in Windows. And then in here, you'll find your you know custom Minecraft maps. Drag those to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. Yep. You heard that right, we can go ahead and open up Minecraft. Now, there's a few ways to get to your Minecraft, like, saves folder where you want to do this, but I'm doing it this way because it's kind of the easiest way without having to use any, like, weird custom commands or anything, even though it does require us to restart Minecraft after we're done. So, nevertheless, that's fine, but this is the way you don't have to use any commands or anything like that. So, we're just going to open up Minecraft, and I'll see you on the main menu. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu, it fades in, and then we can go ahead and click on single player from the Minecraft main menu. Now, what you want to do is have a world here. If you don't have one, just create a new world and then, you know, come back to this menu by escaping, you know, closing out of the game, opening it back up and then clicking single player here. Then you just want to click on any of these worlds. Doesn't matter which, just click on one of them and then click edit. Now, you're not going to change anything about your world. Don't worry about that. But you just want to click on any of your worlds and then click edit in the bottom left. Then click on the open world folder. Then up here at the top, right up here at the top, you'll see like roaming, dot Minecraft, saves, and then your world name. You want to click on the saves folder. This is your Minecraft saves folder. You'll see all of the Minecraft worlds you have installed here. For example, refined storage, data pack world, and 1.16.3. If you come back to Minecraft, data pack world, 1.16.3, and refined storage. I also have one for older worlds. Um, that's just something I've done because, well, these are all my old Minecraft worlds that I don't want showing up anymore, but they kind of have memories of, so I have these in here. But nevertheless, this is your worlds here. Now, before you get all crazy with this, let's minimize everything. Let's minimize our saves, let's minimize Minecraft, and let's work on the files we downloaded. So go ahead and right click on this file you downloaded and then click extract all, then click extract. I'm gonna do this for both of these maps, but we're gonna do one at a time. So hidden rooms, once it extracts, it's gonna open up this. Then you wanna click through these files until you see this right here. You see like data packs, dim one, dim dash one. It might not have all these files, but it'll have some of these files. Doesn't matter what they are, but as long as some of these files appear, you're in the right place. Then go ahead and click back one up here in the top left and then drag this to your desktop right then you can delete all of the files associated except that one that you dragged to your desktop for example our zip file and that new folder it created now let's do that one more time so on 2d parkour right click on it click on extract all and then click extract in the bottom right 
It's then gonna go through that and open up a folder. Then we wanna go into this folder that's right here, 2D Parkour, until we see this, like Dim1, Dim-1, Player Data, all this stuff. Again, they might not all be here, but some of this stuff will be here. And then you wanna go ahead and click the back button in the top left and drag that to your desktop, just like so. Now we can delete all of the files associated with it that we downloaded. Now we've got two things on our desktop here, Hidden Rooms and 2D Parkour The Twist. No underscores, nothing crazy. It might have crazy stuff in it, that's okay if yours does, but what should happen, no matter what, is when you open up these folders on your desktop, you should immediately see these folders here, like Dim1, Dim-1, Player Data. Again, not all these might be here, but some of them will be. And then the same thing with 2D Parkour, open that up and there you go. You see that stuff, Region, Dim1, Dim-1, all that stuff is there. Again, maybe not all of them, but most of them should be. Now, once you've got that, we can come back into Minecraft and we can again open up that saves folder. Now, just in case, I did that in a weird order, so let's go over that saves folder one more time. To get to that, you want to click on from the Minecraft main menu, single player, then click on one of these worlds. Don't open it, just click on it one time, and then click edit in the bottom left. Then you want to go ahead and click on the open world folder button right here on this edit world, and then you want to click on saves up here at the top. Then you should see all the worlds that you currently have in Minecraft single player. And now all you want to do is take Hidden Rooms and 2 Park or The Twist and drag them in. Now, I say those two specifically, but any custom map that you want to install in Minecraft, just drag and drop it into this saves folder. You can close out of that saves folder, click cancel there, and your maps aren't here. But if you click cancel again and click on single player, they appear, right? So again, that was just back all the way out and then click on single player and your maps are there. There's hidden rooms, there's 2D parkour, the twist. We'll click on hidden rooms first. Now as you can see, it says this last plane 116.1. You're on 116.3. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, you do. I know what I'm doing. Go ahead and open it. As long as it's 1.16, you're good to open up the map. Here we are in game, right like so. As you can see, it says keep looking, don't cheat, brightness is on bright. And then you have to like figure your way out of this. I am horrid at escape rooms. Just horrible at them. There we go. So this is open. I, I'm just horrible at these maps. I'm not um, ashamed of that fact. It's just a fact. I am very, very bad at them. So because of that, I'm not even going to try to make it that far in this, but I think we can definitely see that this map is working and installed. And it actually looks pretty cool. Again, if you were better at uh, custom maps, you might be better at it than me. But nevertheless, there is that. We also have the parkour map, which I'm a bit better at. I'm a bit better at parkour. We can go ahead and double click on that. And again, it says 1.6.01. That's okay. You know what you're doing. Go ahead and open it. All these maps, if you download it from us, are going to be tested. Now, as you can see, we can click here to start adventure. And what we are doing is controlling... Ugh, what we are doing is controlling that character right there. Ugh. So as you can see, I'm not that great at this. So we can attack. It's going to jump right like so. I believe let's see there we go yeah so boom and I died but yeah you can kind of see how this works here you can jump with the villager right like so and oh, 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 jump yeah so you're trying to control this villager here and you can move a little faster and all sorts of stuff it's, it's very difficult but really really fun in the same time it's one of those where you're gonna get a little angry at it but if you make it all the way it's very impressive but yeah there you go those are two custom maps any custom maps that you want are gonna work here right we just have these two that we installed but any map that you want to add whether it's even from like a map from a youtuber that they want you to download whatever that can be added here and it will all work just the same now before we close out of this I want to show you one more thing because I think it's very very important if for whatever reason you can't get to that saves folder from Minecraft what you want to do is go on the little windows icons in the top left of my screen bottom left of your screen this time you want to type in run and you'll have this run app now in this run app you want to type percent sign app data percent sign so percent app data percent exactly like that and hit enter then you'll have your dot minecraft folder and then in here you'll see there's your saves folder so that's how you can find that there's 2d parkour there is uh, our hidden rooms and there's you know data pack world 1.16 it's all of our single player worlds even that old worlds that i was talking about is there so that's a way that you can actually, you know, kind of get into your saves folder without going through Minecraft. That's cool and that's important because um, if you have any issues or whatever and you want to delete a map and you're having trouble accessing Minecraft for whatever reason, you can do that via the saves folder in that way. But um, yeah, that's how you can do that. That's how you can get custom maps in Minecraft 1.16.3. If we did help you out, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And you know, if you're feeling awesome, come play with us on playdartbreakdowncraft.com. It is the best Minecraft server in the universe. It is a network server, meaning that we have all kinds of different servers. Specifically, we have two separate survival servers. Medieval Survival has 30 custom quests and a player-based economy, and Aquatic Survival has an awesome slash shop-based economy. And then on top of that, we do have amazing custom factions, small 10-player team-based factions, PvP-focused, you'll love it. And then we do have custom skyblock as well, with OP enchants, custom islands, finch generators, 1.8 PvP, and so much more. So come play with us. Play breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. You are going to absolutely love the server, so come play with us. Over 150 players online every single day of the week. But nevertheless, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.